Welcome to the bedtime story. My help comes from God. Taken from Psalm 121. This psalm speaks words of promise about God's providence and protection on life's journey. I invite you now to relax. Close your eyes softly. Get comfortable and allow the presence of the Lord to fill your heart. Take a slow, deep breath. As we journey through the mountains and valleys of Psalm 121 to reflect on God's comfort and provision for you. Remember, God loves you and cares for you. All the help you'll ever need comes from Him. Allow me to pray over you as you begin to dream and drift into a peaceful night of sleep. Lord God, I ask you to watch over your child tonight. Hold them in the fold of your tender, loving arms. Father, I pray for deep rest and security for this dear and wonderful person that you love and care for. Give them visions and dreams of your hope. Refresh them for a new day. Be their help in time of need and allow them to sleep deeply tonight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Imagine that you are in a peaceful valley. It's lush and green with glorious rolling hills that rise and fall into the distance. Wildflowers dot the landscape with vibrant color. Yellow daffodils, white jasmine with sweet-smelling petals. You walk slowly through the valley in perfect peace, breathing the fresh spring air. Up above, you see a clear blue sky with wispy clouds floating overhead. There is stillness and peace all around. You are fully content and fully relaxed in the valley. Jesus is there with you. He is happy that you want to spend time with him here. See the glow of his smile as you walk side by side. You hear Jesus speak Psalm 121 out loud to you. The words fill the valley alive with his spirit. They calm your heart, mind, and soul. I will lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. 
The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. You come to a soft blanket spread out for you in the shade. The sun will not strike you by day nor the moon by night. And Jesus invites you to rest right here. And you lie dreamily in the valley. The Lord is your keeper. He who keeps you will not slumber. He keeps Israel safe. And he will keep you safe. He will neither sleep nor slumber. Your heart fills with the comfort that God is your keeper, your protector, your guide. His spirit fills your room. He shall preserve you from all evil. You fall. You drift slowly, softly, asleep. Your mind is refreshed. Your arms and back feel light and restored from deep sleep. Jesus walks again with you through the valley. He continues speaking Psalm 121 over you slowly, like a command, making each word true. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come from? As you walk through the beautiful green valley, the gentle rolling hills rising up all around you. You know where your help comes from. He is standing right beside you in glowing robes. (laughs) The risen Lord. He is so peaceful. You are immersed in a sense of stillness and security. As you look around at the magnificent landscape, you know just by the beauty of creation that God is your creator, your provider, your help. You also know that the psalmist does not look to nature for help. As beautiful as the hills may be, The psalmist's help comes from the very one who made the hills, the heavens, and the earth. God. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord God is with you in the valley. God the Father calls out to you from the hills. Your heart rejoices at his voice. You call out to him, and before a word is even on your tongue, he knows it. He is already sending the help you need at just the right time and in just the right way. 
He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. You are amazed by the faithfulness of God. The one who does not slumber or sleep, he never grows weary. Of that you can be sure. He is a constant presence in your life. You feel His presence now. Your feet are steady on solid ground. You have nothing to fear. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The warmth of the sun is shining down on you, and you bask in its light. And when it becomes too hot, God becomes your shade. The coolness on your face. He is your keeper and guardian. You allow yourself to relax fully in His loving arms. He is guiding you in the way you should go. Even in the night watches, when the way seems dark and unfamiliar, your foot does not stumble. His Spirit is there to lead you. Feel Him leading you tonight. No matter how dark it seems, your footsteps are sure. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The safety you feel in the fold of the Lord's loving arms is the most secure feeling in the world. All the cares of life have faded into the night. You are able to breathe deeply and know that you are completely safe. No evil can touch you for the Lord is keeping you from everything that is harmful or contrary to His love for you. Your very life is held fastly in the palm of His hand. You've never felt so protected. It's as if walls of love have been placed around you so that nothing can reach you. You are surrounded by God's perfect peace. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. As you go through the valley and find pasture, Your life is locked in and secured in the fold of the Great Shepherd. He watches over your coming and your going. There is nothing that escapes His sovereignty. He is your keeper. He keeps watch over you from this time forth, now and forevermore. Tomorrow, God will watch over you. He will guide your steps. The peace of Jesus will guard your heart. From this time forth and forevermore, you are kept by the love of the Lord. He 
is your help in time of need. He is your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer. Now, be still, rest deeply, and know that God is with you. Allow His presence to cover you as you sleep in total peace tonight. Dream peacefully as I pray. Gracious God, thank you for your provision over your loved one tonight. I ask for healing rest and peaceful sleep as they trust in you. Help them always to remember that their help comes from you alone. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. This evening, as countless others have for thousands of years before you, settle in as the story of the 23rd Psalm transforms you. Listen now. To Psalm 23 from the New King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As you rest even more deeply, Listen once again as you immerse yourself in this verse. The Lord is your shepherd. He is here with you to feed you, to guide you, and to shield you. You shall not want. See his eyes. How he looks at you, the intense care and love, the look that says he knows everything about you and yet loves you anyway. It's impossible for him to love you any more than he does right now. Rest there. He makes you lie down in green pastures. Feel the cool grass, the blue sky, the warmth on your face. Soak up everything you imagine around you. Can you hear the birds twittering happily? A gentle breeze stirs your hair. Smell the sweet scent of the grass and 
the nearby wildflowers. You are in a safe haven. A wide open space well guarded by your loving shepherd. He leads you beside the still and quiet waters. Hear it bubbling nearby, gentle, soothing, refreshing. Hear it, smell it, dangle your toes and your feet in it. It is there to soothe you. You dip your cupped hand in and pull out a handful of cool water. You lean your head down to drink. Ah, feel the life that it gives you. Drink deeply of the living water that is Jesus to your soul. He restores your soul, your life. Everything is made new, revived, refreshed. In this time of sleep, your strength will be renewed like the eagles. You will run and not grow weary. You will walk and not faint. He will strengthen you. He will uphold you with his righteous right hand. Your head will be lifted up. Your rest will be deep and sweet. He leads you in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Not wandering but guided down a path, a well-worn path, a known path, a chosen path for you, for you, for him, for your eternity, for his name, for his glory. His light shines on that path. His word is a lamp for your feet. Even though you walk through the sunless valley, you will fear no evil, for you are with him. Yes, there are shadows. Yes, there are storms. Yes, there is distant thunder, but no storms surprise God. No thunder bothers him. No shadows catch him unaware. Rest in his strength, present in storms. See the growth the rain causes. Notice the flowering the tempest brings. God is with you. He is by your side. He shelters you in his wings. You are his forever. His rod is there to protect you. His staff to guide you. To comfort and console you. Gentle prodding, tender reminding, a rod that's protective of you, a staff that serves to guide you away from harm, to comfort you, to console you. Feel soothed now by your heavenly shepherd. He prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. 
He prepares it, the creator of the universe, the author of time. He prepares for you, before you, in the presence of your enemies. God's focus is on you, preparing for you, providing for you. Sit at the table he has prepared. See all the gifts that he has laid out before you. Luscious and sweet fruits dripping with their juices. Warm and yeasty breads that make your mouth water with their scent. Cheese freshly made. All that is good nutritious and lovely to behold is before you on a laden table ready for you to partake he has anointed and refreshed your head with oil feel his hands on your head feel the oil in his hands the oil running through your hair, dripping down your cheeks. Oil mixed with tears, his tears of joy, your tears of love. Feel chosen, feel loved, feel anointed. Your cup overflows. His blessings don't just fill you, they overflow you. Feel it. See it. His blessings spilling out of your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul. Running over to those around you. You have an abundance to share. God's love, His protection, His nurture, His very self. It's too much to contain. You long to share it with others. Surely, goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow you all the days of your life. Walk along. Stop for a moment and look behind you. What do you see? Who do you see? See goodness following you. See mercy. See unfailing love always present, always close, walking in step right behind you. Listen carefully and hear those steps. And you shall dwell forever throughout all of your days in the house and in the presence of the Lord dwell not just in any old place but living and staying as a permanent resident in the house and presence of God not an earthly place of sticks and mud but a heavenly palace built by the Creator himself and not just today but tomorrow all week every month, year, decade, century, millennia, for all time, forever. Now, rest in the green pasture, by the still water. Rest safe from harm. Allow God's presence to free you, to save you, Breathe it in, God's peace. 
and breathe out all of your worries our gracious Heavenly Father our Good Shepherd thank you for leading us and your precious child to the green pasture for making them lie down and rest I pray tonight that they would feel your presence all around them that they would revel in the goodness that you have brought to them may they hear your voice of comfort and feel your hands of care on them when they are afraid may they trust in you knowing that you care for them so very much take all worry away Lord as you walk with them through their valleys remind them moment by moment of your care and provision for them help them to sleep Lord knowing that you will stay by their side you will never leave them nor forsake them you never slumber nor do you sleep so that they can be sure you are ever watchful over them teach them as they sleep tonight to partake of your abundant provision help them to see all around them that you have given them every good gift everything they need for life and salvation you show them the path of righteousness you lead them wherever you need them to go you will never ever abandon them comfort them in your sweet rest tonight Lord as numerous as the stars are in the sky are the grains of sand on all the beaches in the world so vast is your love for them let your love envelop them like a blanket keeping them safe and warm let the clear waters restore their soul Jesus is the living water and may they thirst for nothing else as the deer pants for the waters may their soul pant for you the living God we thank you and praise you for your loving care in Jesus name amen King David wrote Psalm 3 after he and his court had fled Jerusalem in the middle of the night tragically his jealous son Absalom was leading a rebellion that was trying to dethrone David eventually they even tried to kill him but in the midst of this King David's faith remain strong let's take a journey back in time to 1000 BC and experience David's peace and joy in a story based on Psalm 3 and 2 Samuel you'll see how God provided for him and you'll be encouraged by knowing that the same God who provided for and protected David does the same for you as we enter our scene in ancient Israel a reddish orange Sun is rising in the east just over the distant dusty hills it's beautiful the temperature is cool but not cold there's a slight breeze blowing in from the north and you can smell the distinct aroma of lilies in the air you're a member of King David's royal court and you are tired even a little worried you fled Jerusalem in the middle of the night but why didn't God put David in power doesn't God protect his anointed 
Everyone, including King David, is grieving. You don't know what the future holds. Everyone is also hungry. In the rush to escape Jerusalem, most of the food was left behind. King David has ordered everyone to stop walking for a moment. You spot him in the crowd. At 60 years old, his face has aged since he took the throne 30 years ago. Still, these wrinkles look more like wrinkles of wisdom than worry. People closest to him say he's a man after God's own heart. He prays often, and even now, as you stare at him, he appears to be deep in contemplation and prayer, perhaps asking the Lord for guidance. Suddenly, he opens his eyes and speaks. Let's keep walking, he says. You put one foot in front of another, wishing you could rest a little longer. But you trust your king. As David and the rest of the royal court slowly descends the Mount of Olives, a stranger appears, guiding two donkeys. The animals are loaded down with the stranger's goods. This man has blue eyes, a long black beard, and a tall wooden staff. As you get closer, you realize it's Ziba, a former servant of King Saul. My king, Ziba says, addressing David. I heard about your trouble. I bring provisions. Your eyes quickly study the goods loaded on the donkeys. It's enough food to feed King David's court several times over. Your heart is filled with joy. God has provided. A servant counts the food. There's 200 loaves of bread, 100 bunches of raisins, 100 summer fruits, including apples and pomegranates, and a skin of wine. Hallelujah, someone exclaims. King David and Ziba speak for a few minutes, and then one of his servants passes out the bread. Then the raisins, then the fruit. You take a large bite of a juicy red apple and savor the flavor. Just might be the best food you've ever had. <laughs> and it gives you much needed energy. A few moments ago, you were dejected, but now you are filled with optimism. The living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has once again taken care of his people. David speaks to the group. We need to keep moving. But first, let's worship the living God who has provided this food. David begins singing. He's written a new psalm to God. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. 
Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw, break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. King David often writes music, but this song has special meaning to you and the others. It encourages you. It gives you hope. King David looks at you and the others in your party, urging you to join him as he sings his new psalm again. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw, break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. You sleep well that night, knowing God is guarding you. Several days have passed since Ziba delivered his provisions. Since then, you've traveled by foot far from Jerusalem and across a variety of landscapes in Israel over dry, barren land, through a lush green forest, and just the other night, across the Jordan River. You had forgotten how beautiful the land of Israel is. No wonder your ancestors labeled it, a land flowing with milk and honey. They called it the promised land. Still, you miss your hometown of Jerusalem. You've prayed each day for God's deliverance, but so far, God has chosen to let King David live a life on the run. Perhaps God is teaching David a spiritual lesson. Perhaps God is teaching you something, too. Today, King David has led you to a small town, Mahanaim, which is filled with his allies. And once again, you're hungry and thirsty and tired. The food Ziba brought is running out. Perhaps we can fish somewhere around here, a friend says. We can't, another person replies. The river is at least a day's journey behind us. You have heard stories of your ancestors complaining in the wilderness. How they begged Moses to take them back to Egypt. How they grumbled about the taste of manna. How they blamed God for abandoning them. How you're trying your best to have strong faith in God. A faith worthy of testing. You remember Ziba bringing you food. Perhaps God will perform another miracle. 
Yahweh, you pray quietly. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You've brought my ancestors into this land. You've protected us. You've provided for us again and again. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy of worship. Please don't abandon your servant, David. Please, Lord, provide for us once again. You are our source of strength. You are the reason we live. Amen. About two hours have passed. It's the middle of the day, and You've been told King David is seeking God's direction for the next move. While you wait, you watch two brown squirrels chasing one another up and down an oak tree. These squirrels are battling for an acorn. An acorn you could eat if only you had enough water and time to prepare it. The entire tree, in fact, is filled with these bitter nuts that would make you sick if not cooked. Well, you tell yourself, at least the squirrels have enough food. Just then, you hear the unmistakable sound of a sheep, and another sheep, and a third one. Walking alongside them are three men who are guiding not only the sheep, but also five donkeys. We heard you were hungry and thirsty, one of the men says to the king. You survey their gifts. <laughs> They've brought more food than Zeba did. You see wheat and barley and flour and beans and lentils, and honey, even, even cheese. It's so much that it's weighing down the donkeys. But that's not all. These men also brought beds to sleep in, and bowls and cookware to prepare meals. Three of King David's servants unload the donkeys and begin cooking the meat over a fire. You toss in another log, ensuring there is enough heat. Another servant starts handing out honeycomb and cheese for those who can't wait for the meal to be ready. That's you. <laughs> you take a bite of honey. It's even sweeter than the juicy apple you ate all those days ago. You swallow it and instantly feel a rush of energy. You feel refreshed. And most of all, thankful. God has provided. Once again, He has provided. King David not far from you, begins humming his new song. Then he begins singing, and everyone joins in. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and He answers me from His holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw break the teeth of the wicked, 
From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. The king then sings it again. Lord, how many are my foes! How many rise against me! Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw, break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. That night, you sleep better than you have in weeks, even though you're so very far away from home. Even though you're living a life on the run, you know the God of the universe has provided meals when hope seemed lost. You know the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is watching over you and that he will deliver you. As David's psalm said, you called out to the Lord and he answered you. You laid down to sleep and he sustained you. King David's army eventually defeated Absalom. And the king and his royal court returned to Jerusalem. But you never forgot the song that gave you hope amidst the trouble. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord. Deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. God, the creator of the universe, is watching over you. He's protecting you. He's a shield around you. He's the lifter of your head. He gives you hope. When you call out to the Lord, He answers just as he answered David. When you lie down and sleep, he sustains you. You have no reason to fear, because from the Lord comes deliverance. You are a child of God. Just like a loving parent cares for a child, God is caring for you right now. 
rest in his loving arms abide in his mighty presence accept God's gift of sleep and peace let me pray for you dear father thank you for this precious child of yours I praise you for being their shield and protector as they rest thank you for being the lifter of their head now father I ask that you will grant them peace and pleasant dreams of your kingdom your word says I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me father I ask that you will help this child of yours sleep deeply and then wake up refreshed ready to serve you another day it's in Christ's name that I pray amen as we prepare to begin take a moment to name any worries that are weighing you down don't be ashamed of your anxiety offer it to God remember that Jesus said that you could cast your cares on him picture your worries like rocks in a backpack take them out one by one and hand them to Jesus if those worries show up in your backpack again that's okay just give them to Jesus again he is our ever-present help in times of trouble he does not grow weary and he desires to give you his peace having surrendered your worries and fears to God feel the lightness in your spirit you don't have to carry those things anymore you're free of them feel the weight gone from your shoulders feel the muscles of your neck and back loosen and relax free of the burden they were carrying notice your breath don't judge it just notice it is it shallow or deep now as you breathe out surrender more of your worries to God feel your tension move through your body and out with your breath as you exhale then breathe in God's peace feeling it move through your body and expanding inside of you feel the relaxation in your shoulders deepen as you breathe out the tension and breathe in God's peace keep breathing out the tension and in the peace of God as I read to you from Psalm 4 answer me when I call to you my righteous God give me relief from my distress have mercy on me and hear my prayer know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself the Lord hears when I call to him tremble and do not sin when you are on your beds search your hearts and be silent offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord God you answer when we call to you and you alone have the power to answer prayers please have mercy on your child relieve your child's distress and anxiety 
lift the burdens from their shoulders and help them to trust your power and your providence your deep love for them I ask this in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit feel the relaxation spread out from your shoulders and back into your arms and deep inside your chest feel each individual muscle loosen continuing to breathe out your tension and in God's peace let your awareness of God's mercy be stronger than any other thought in your mind let's pray these words from Psalm 3 cover you like a blanket but you Lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me from the Lord comes deliverance may your blessing be on your people God you are our protector and defender and deliverer your children have nothing to fear for you are with us thank you for hearing prayers and answering them thank you for staying with your child through the night never leaving or forsaking them thank you for the new mercies you have for this child when you wake them in the morning in the name of the father son and holy spirit i pray listen to your breathing listen to your breathing slow and steady breathe out any tension breathe in God's peace slowly meditate on these words I will lie down and sleep and sleep in peace for you alone O Lord make me dwell in safety let them become your refrain I will lie down and sleep and sleep in peace for you alone O Lord make me dwell in safety I will lie down and sleep and sleep in peace for you alone O Lord make me dwell in safety let the rhythm of that refrain become the rhythm of your heart as we hear these words from Psalm 4 Oh God you have declared me perfect in your eyes you have always cared for me in my distress hear me now as I call again have mercy on me hear my prayer the gladness you have given me is far greater than the joy at harvest time I will lie down in peace and sleep for though I am alone O Lord you will keep me safe Lord you keep your child safe in peace in comfort and rest and restoration you desire to give your child all good things you hear your child when they call to you and you give them gladness and joy now dear father lead your child into sleep 
fill them with peace and a sense of safety. Allow them to feel your presence, to know that you are near and that you are ever watchful. God of all comfort, comfort your child. You have taken all their burdens upon yourself. Give them a sense of the freedom you've granted. Draw them deeper into your rest and your peace and your love. Tonight, may they sleep and sleep in peace. For you alone, O oh Lord, make them dwell in safety. And may they wake in the morning refreshed and with your song of joy in their heart. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Pace your breathing as I pray from Isaiah 26. God will keep you in perfect and constant peace. Tonight, God will make your mind steadfast, committed, focused on Him tonight. Trust God tonight with your sleep. Take refuge in God's loving arms tonight as you see sleep. Be confident in the arms of your Savior tonight. Trust confidently in God forever. God is your fortress. God is your shield. God is your banner. God is everlasting. He is your protector tonight. He is your rock for all time. Dear peaceful and restful Father, bring this one, your child, rest and sleep tonight. Keep them from tossing. Keep them from turning. Lord God, you never sleep. Lord God, you never slumber. So watch over this your child tonight as they sleep. Bring peace to their churning mind. Comfort their mind from spinning. Soothe their heart. Calm them tonight. Give them sweet rest in your arms. In Jesus' name, amen. Pace your breathing as I pray from Psalm 91. God is covering you tonight. God is completely protecting you with his strength. You are protected under his wings tonight. You can find rest under his wings tonight. You can find refuge in the loving arms of God tonight. God's faithfulness is your shield tonight. God's faithfulness is a wall protecting you from harm so you can rest tonight. Pace your breathing as you listen to the Word of God being prayed softly over you. Breathe slow and deep as you hear God's words for you tonight. As you lay down to sleep, do not be afraid tonight. As you lay down tonight, let your sleep be sweet. In peace, God will be with you tonight as you sleep. You are not alone. God is with you and you will be safe as you sleep. Tonight, God will give you his beloved peaceful sleep. Tonight, God will give you sleep. God will give you slumber. He will fold your hands as you rest. You will lie down to rest tonight. You will rest peacefully. 
you will wake up in the morning fresh for the Lord sustains and cares for you God will not let you move tonight you will be at peace he will be there for you all night because God does not slumber or sleep he stays with you so that you can sleep dear peaceful father thank you for your peace your care your love your mercy your salvation as this child of yours finds sleep tonight as they sleep let them feel your presence over them let them sleep under your wings and it is in Jesus' name I pray over them. Amen.